Hey, genderqueer gang, this is Kai, um, and this week's topics are dreams, and then do we make compromises about our identity, and so I'm just going to get dreams out of the way. I don't actually remember my dreams ever, so what my gender is, what my body looks like, what my name is in my dreams is like... I have no idea, and if I ever do remember my dreams, it's like, it's a first person, I see things usually first person narrative, not third person, like omniscient, so I'm never outside of myself enough to know. Um, so, yeah, so that's the dream deal, sorry. Um, as far as making compromises, I make compromises about my identity all the time, and I think that this is like, going to be the plight of me as a gender queer gender fluid person because or just like simply as a non-binary person um because as i've mentioned before and as i'm sure a number of us really understand and experience on a daily basis the whole wide world right down to language is structured for men and women male and female and so when you start identifying as something that's outside of the provided context, it kind of blows people's minds a little bit. And they, I've, it's been my experience that sometimes people try to be um, like sensitive, like they try to use the right pronouns and stuff. But are they really actually seeing me as a non-binary person or are they just like putting me in another box but trying to respect me through language? And this is some, like this is a question that I've asked people and most often it's, um, well, we're trying to respect you but I just really see you as this or I really see you as that. So even there's even like an unspoken compromise that's happening. I understand that you don't see me exactly as I am which is cool as long as you, like, respect me verbally and, like, on the surface. Um, and that's, like, an unspoken compromise that I make with most people who are close in my life. And I understand it is that way. Um, and it's really powerful when I get around a group of people who see me. Like, that is the greatest gift. Um, and that happens, like, I go to a support meeting here in Milwaukee, and it's all trans people, and I feel seen. Um, and just, like, with certain friends who understand that there's more than a binary. I really feel seen. Um, but with everyone else, I feel as if I'm making an unspoken compromise, and I've had to become more and more comfortable with that because this is the world that I live in. Um, as far as compromises that are a little more overt, that are, like, happening more, or, like, I'm, where it's, like, really noticeable, uh, my mom is one. She gets like really confused about my gender and she sometimes calls me she and she sometimes calls me he and I'm like mom I don't identify with either of those things and she's like well I don't know what else there is um, so I've just made a compromise I'm just like okay you're 50 years old and you accept that I'm trans and that's good enough and for me that's a compromise like she doesn't see me um, but She's willing to love me anyways, and so I'm going to take it because it's more than what a lot of people have. Um, and some people might, like, beat down the door about that, but for me it's, like, about accepting other people for where they're at as well. And if I have a 50-year-old mother who's accepting me for where I'm at, um, even though she doesn't understand it, I'm going to make that same concession for her. Um, and especially if it's important for me to maintain certain relationships. Um, for me, there's a difference between insensitivity and ignorance and disrespect and compromise, right? So compromise I can deal with, but any of those um, three that I just mentioned, I, I will not deal with because they're dangerous to me emotionally and mentally. Um, so that happens a lot, like being a non-binary person, I'm constantly making compromise. And I've just like stopped correcting people, like most... It's actually funny, I'm being read ma as male more often now than I'm being read as female, so it's, like, really weird, but, you know, people just use the wrong pronouns constantly. I'm making a constant compromise. Um, that's part of the reason why I'm moving, is that I want to move somewhere where I feel seen, and so I'm moving right outside of Seattle, and um, it's a little more... Uh, gender is more broad. 
there, and I f and I feel like I have a better chance of being seen more often. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have, and I'm gonna put my links per usual at the end of this um, page. Go check them out, and I hope you have a good week. Thanks.